From Fox 8, this is Breaking News. Good afternoon, I'm Warren McCoy. And I'm Liz Reyes. The Jefferson Parish coroner says a preliminary autopsy shows six-year-old Bella Fontenelle died of manual strangulation with blunt force injuries to the head. Meanwhile, the woman accused of her death is now in jail, booked with her murder. And the horrific killing left the Harahan neighborhood in shock. But police say their investigation is far from over. Natasha Robin explains. She had the biggest smile. Her, it seemed to be she was the first one that would approach you, um, you know, and share and just giggle and how are you doing? The Harahan community is still reeling from the tragic death of six-year-old Bella Fontenelle. And I would see the little girl and her older sister out in the driveway playing many times, riding their little bikes, and the mother would sit out there with them. Uh, the grandmother and grandfather would sit out there with them, and it was just so beautiful to watch them. Investigators say her father's girlfriend, Hannah Landon, also known as Bunnick Landon, killed little Bella, stuffed her in a 10-gallon chlorine bucket and left it on her mother's front lawn late Tuesday night. The sheriff's office says it recovered surveillance video showing Landon walking down the street that night with a wagon in tow carrying the bucket. She's now booked with first degree murder and obstruction of justice and is being held without bond. We've been a small bedroom community for years. You know, we average a murder once every three and a half, four years. And it was just it's a tragic thing. Harahan Police Chief Edward LaPre says just after midnight, early Wednesday morning, Landon came into the Harahan Police Station asking for help. Officer spoke to her. She seemed a little bit out of it. And uh, they called to have her. She was asking for a transport. So they called for an ambulance to come pick her up. And once the ambulance came and picked her up, they transported her to a local hospital to be evaluated. And that's where police say they eventually located and arrested her for murder. People who live near Bella's mother say they're in shock. I thought everything was all American, as you would say. You know, I know she was working through a, a stressful divorce. She did share that. But it seemed to be she was okay with it. I mean, she seemed to be uh, moving forward with that situation. But court documents show there was conflict between the mother and Landon or Lim dating back to 2021. In one incident, court documents show the two women got into a physical confrontation during a swim meet for one of the kids and Bella's father had to intervene. In another incident, the two seemed to scuffle during a soccer game. Chief LaPray says the investigation into the little girl's murder is far from over. We're going to work to the end to try to make sure we get a, a conviction. This is a small baby, and any family would be devastated. I can only imagine what the mother and father is going through right now. When it happens two doors down from your house, and you look outside and you see multiple policemen, it is like, what in the world is going on here? People who live in this neighborhood still cannot believe what happened, but they say they're leaning on each other to cope with the tragedy. In Harahan, Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.